Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of the Mark Park brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is hump day, and it's uh, Wednesday, July 26th, or 27th. Excuse me. Hey, uh, we do got a bit of economic news for you. Start off with the durable goods orders for the month of June. So this was actually revised for the month of May. It was actually revised worse. So it was from like 2.2 to 2.8 negative. Uh, so it worsened in May. Uh, forecast is at 1.7 negative, and it contracted 4% in June. That's like the biggest GDP uh, drop we've seen in, or not sorry, GDP, uh, durable goods orders drop in quite some time. So pretty big number right there, and obviously very disappointing to see uh, these ticket items, uh, consumer. these are like consumer staples and everything uh, that are um, you know not doing so well. Pending home sales uh, showed some improvement, not quite to expectations, but back in J May, we had a negative, a contraction of pending home sales at 3.7%. Uh, so the forecast for June was at 1.3% and only went up to a measly 0.2%. So slight improvement, obviously better than the contraction, but uh, still um, not a great number there. But, and then, of course, uh, later today, uh, by 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, the fund will be convening their uh, their uh, two-day meeting here and will be giving their announcements uh, at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And of course, you'll see press at about 11.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time. So the markets are kind of bracing for this uh, currently, as you can see with the stock market little mix. Uh, NASDAQ at this time is the only one that's up, and that's primarily because of earnings reports from Apple exceeding expectations. Uh, funny thing is that their revenue is down from last year, uh, but because they had such low expectations, they beat their expectations. So this is what we're kind of seeing uh, on this, from the stock market. It's kind of funny that they... Uh, a lot of things are down, and because they beat the expectations, even though their expectations are so low, that they're uh, kind of rewarding them for that. Go figure, right? Yeah, hey, uh, so let's take a look at the bond market. And we did close down yesterday, which is obviously not a good sign. We had this little uh, wick here, which kind of is a good sign, which a pull back. It's not, it didn't close at its highs. We started the day, which this is what kind of concerns me a little bit. It, it did close, start the day off earlier. Uh, but we are now convening in on the 10-day moving average as well as we even touched on uh, the 25-day moving average, which you can see this by this week, which uh, brought us up about 18 basis points of where we, over where we left off yesterday. Uh, right now, we're about 15 basis points from, uh, from yesterday. So uh, after the announcement, we could see another little rally, hopefully get a little boost uh, uh, after the FOMC. So what we're looking for is any possibility of a rate hike in September or even this year for that matter, they're going to look at the dot plot because obviously the Fed's not going to come out and say they're going to raise rates in in there. But they're kind of expecting a hawkish tone with some of the recent news that came out with the nice uh, employment in, uh, numbers that came in uh, in June. So we'll kind of see what they have to see. And it looks like the global economy, uh, you know, it, nothing's really out of turmoil after the, since the Brexit. So they may uh, come out with a pretty hawkish tone here, which could uh, bode well for bonds, uh, bond market. So... Uh, prepared for hopefully we'll have some improvement here later today but uh, watch for those uh, depending on what the statement what the Fed comes out with uh, it could hopefully uh, tend to be better for bonds but I would be cautious just to be on the safe side all right uh, but we do have an improvement in the interest rate so far this morning and may even uh, further improve throughout the day after the Fed so um, stay tuned have a great day thanks for watching we'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye